friends. Welcome to Jerry and Linda's dinner. So have a seat and come join us. First, I'm going to show them what we're eating. Yes. So what we're eating. Look at this. Goulash. And this is uh, garlic toasted bread. garlic bread. With Parmesan. With Parmesan. And this is acorn squash with butter on it. Yes. Oh, is that ever good. And also we picked our first green pepper out of the garden. Yes. So that's in here too. So it's all chopped up. You'll be able to see it too good, but yummy, yummy. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm. I need to keep a little closer though. Ooh, careful. Too far away from me. So, how's everybody doing today? How was your day today? I had company most of the day today. And we work today. So, what, all, what did everybody do? Comment below. Let us know. What did you do today? I'm going to take a minute right here. I'm going to give a shout out to my wife. And she is an excellent cook. And I say excellente on these meals she makes. I'm telling you, with her cooking ability and my Hungarian cooking ability, we could open a restaurant and do real well, I believe. What most, do you think? Most of our my meals are southern. Southern cooking because I grew up with parents from Missouri. So I learned southern cooking. So that's what our meals mainly are. Southern cooking and uh, Hungarian, Italian, some Chinese a little bit, and um, what was the other one? Mexican. Mm -hmm. so, today's a hot day. Humid, yeah. It's nice out here under the shade trees. It is. Can't ask for a nicer spot, really. Nope. What a nice place to come and eat. I'm yep. glad you all could join us. Yeah. It's Grab too a bad. Plate and come on over. <laughs> it's too bad you couldn't smell the aroma through the video and have a little taste. It smells like tomatoes a lot, and it smells like garlic. That's what we're smelling quite a bit right now. Smells like an Italian kitchen. Now the way I do my acorn squash, I don't peel it, I mean I don't cut it up or nothing. I don't cut it in half or nothing. I stick it in the microwave when it's uh, squash this big. And I uh, put it on about 10 minutes. It's totally soft. Then I can cut it down the middle, take out the seeds, add some butter and salt and pepper. Then I put it in the oven for maybe, oh, 20 minutes or so. That's how I make acorn squash. You don't have to poke it or anything like you would a potato. You just stick it in the microwave. And it's delicious. Yeah. It tastes just like you baked it, because you did bake it. But... That's how I get it where I don't have to cut myself trying to cut the. You know how hard it is when you try to cut these things? You can almost get cut yourself. And you ladies out there that have commented on Linda's cooking for different meals and say it looks good, I'm here to tell you it is good. Glad you came, was able to join us today. Well, I learned from the best, my mother. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, then this mother is a good cook. Mm -hmm. When we first got married for a number of years, on the holidays, we went over to her mom's house, and she always cooked. She cooked the meals. And man, did we ever have a spread of food. Of course, as she got older, uh, she wasn't able to do it, and then Linda picked it up. 
and we had a good meal and get together and a big spread of food. How many of you out there used to um, have roast beef, potatoes, carrots, and onions almost every single Sunday? <laughs> That's what we had. <laughs> we did do. We never had junk food. The only time we had junk food was Fourth of July, holidays. Uh, we had baked pies, and um, my mother would make from the baked pie crust cinnamon and sugar. Um, the dough, you'd bake it with yep. cinnamon sugar on it for a snack. But, but like kids have today, we didn't have that much junk food, really. We didn't need it. I'd go get ice cream cone every so often. But she'd give me a dollar to go to the candy store. That would be like, well, maybe every other week or so. Something like that. Like, our, my mother, she never bought cookies. She made cookies. Yep, mine too. The same with cakes and pies. And I think the reason they did it, women didn't work as much back then. Mm -hmm. My mother did, though. She sold Avon, and Cherie's mother did, too, but... I mean, work outside the home. Yeah, they work uh, at home. But then nowadays, almost all mothers have to work. They don't have that extra time no. to put in the kitchen. That makes a difference. Mm -hmm. and our summers used to be, we didn't have the internet, of course. I would be out playing from morning. I'd come in for lunch, eat lunch real fast. I was afraid my friends would leave if I didn't hurry up and eat. Then... We'd go over to our friend's house and say, we would knock on the door. We'd say, Cindy, can you come out and play? <laughs> or Diane, can you come out and play? That's what we'd say. And then we were together all afternoon till supper time when it got dark. And we had to go in, of course. No, I was raised different than Lynn. She was raised in town. I was raised on a farm. We had a big farm and six of us in the family. We had two brothers and a sister, mom and dad. And this time of the year, we, you know, always had things to do, working in the garden or out in the field. But this time of the year was working out in the field, pulling weeds. We didn't have the sprays like they do today. The farmers spray everything. Spray for weeds, spray for insects. And Anybody want to bite? <laughs> minor interruption there. Yeah, our phone dropped. You've probably seen my expression. We've got a uh, a little deal that sits on a dash in the car, and you can stick your phone on it. It sucks the suction of it sticks to the dash. Now, if it's not good and clean, it falls. Of course, with the phone on it, that extra weight falls forward and it fell down. I had a container below with the drop cloth, so we didn't have no hard hit. But anyways. We're getting there. We just need to get us a nice, good quality tripod so we don't have that problem again. And we're working on it. But I was talking about on the farm this time of the year, we would be sent out to the field and we'd be in the soybean fields pulling weeds. We didn't have the weed control like the farmers do today. It was basically just getting started back then and it was expensive. But... Dad always had a field for us to work in, so from morning till late afternoon, till supper time, we'd be out in the field pulling weeds. That was my growing up, but there was time for fun. We'd come home after supper, maybe we'd grab our glove and the ball and go outside and play catch, you know, and things like that. And then we got together with family and friends, and we had time for play, but time to work is time to work. Oh, that squash has just got a sweetness to it. I know, it's really mm. good. Our squash in the garden's really coming along, too. Probably, uh, um, that big, maybe. Bigger than eggs. Yeah, about bigger than eggs. We're still going to get the napkins. <laughs> Keep forgetting.
This is really good. These are my Dollar Tree plates right here. These blue ones. They come in all different colors. And I got them at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. They're microwavable safe. And what else? Uh, dishwasher safe. And these plates are so nice. I was really shocked to get them. You know, that they didn't ship or, you know, whatever. But nope. They're just like a perfectly expensive plate. Mm -hmm. It's got the side so it can keep your juice inside your food. Got quite a bit of traffic. People are coming home for dinner now. Even though we live in the country, it's not it's not really like a country, hundred mm -hmm. percent. We got so much traffic. Certain times of the day, not all day of course. Grandkids came over today for a while. Yep, they did. Three out of a whole bunch. Mm-hmm. Having a little dry spell again. So I'm watering the garden. I got the sprinkler system working out there right now. I know our water just can't get enough. Our garden just can't get enough water, it seems like. Mm. Man, this is good. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best acorn squash we've had in a long time. No, it's really good. Oh, my mom and dad said they really enjoyed the butter, what was that, butternut squash? But that's good too, though. I like the acorn the best. Yeah, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. Thank you. It's, the, it's a different taste, and I love it. Guess what, you guys? Guess what today is? Guess what tonight is? Tonight America's is got talent. Mal America's got talent. <laughs> I'm still rooting for the singers. One of our favorite shows. There's not much on this time of the year. So we like to watch that. But I think the singers are my favorite. And those two players I really liked. I like the people that um, had the lights on. They did. That's um, a good performance, too. Mm -hmm. But still, my favorite are all the singers. Finished my first portion of my meal. I know I'm always going to get seconds. And I'm getting full. <laughs> so, I guess we're going to go watch National News. Getting to be that time. Yep. So we want to thank you all for uh, viewing our video again and having a meal with us today. We appreciate you all. And uh, I'm Jerry on Linda and Jerry's Place. And I'm Linda. Glad to have all you. And we'll probably do another Eat with Jerry and Linda soon. So Look forward to it. Yep. Look forward to you coming. You're all invited. So, come on and join us. So, we'll see you. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good night.